I have had a lot of questions on how I purchased my truck. So today I'm going to tell you how I turned my first wheel for just $2,700 out of pocket. Roll it. Hello and welcome to Trucking Topics Today, where we provide information for your trucking journey. My name is Tony and I am your host here on the channel. If this is our first time meeting, welcome. Please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and then tap that notification bell so that you can be notified of future video drops. Let's get after it. So I have had many questions on how I purchased or leased my truck. Due in part because I have mentioned it only took $2,700 for the deal. So today I'm going to tell you how I purchased my truck. Now this is going to be part one of a two part series. I will go through the process and business end of purchasing my truck in this particular video and then go through basically how to buy a used truck in part two and the steps I went through to ensure that I got the best truck I could. When that video is posted, there will be a link here and also in the show notes below. Okay, so before I do, I want to say that when you buy a used truck, I like to say a used truck is a used truck is a used truck. It really doesn't matter if you buy it from a used truck lot, uh, an auction, a friend, the truck paper, or any other manner that you know trucks are available to us all are in various stages of maintenance and repair. It's up to you to do your due diligence with that truck before you purchase it. Also, there is the question of purchasing or leasing your truck. Now, please understand what I did worked for me. I am not saying do it this way, okay? This is how I did it. If it works for you, go for it. But for my business plan, this is how I acquired my truck, and I'll explain. So I had approximately $20,000 to work with in my startup budget for just the truck. And by the way, please do a startup budget. It will be your first mistake in your new business if you do not do this. If you don't take time for a startup budget, the probability of you keeping and knowing and growing your numbers as you conduct business is very small. And that will lead to less profits and even perhaps losing your business. That's a topic for another video. Now, I looked for my truck locally on Truck Lots, Craigslist, and the truck paper. I searched online through many sources and I considered both leasing and purchasing. Now for me, I decided that it was better for me to lease my truck. Now the reason for that is because it was going to cost me $12,000 to $25,000 for the down payment to do a purchase. So what I decided is I would rather have as much money as I could in my operating account for maintenance or unforeseen issues once I turn the wheels, okay, to keep those wheels turning. So for my first truck, I decided I want something easy to work on. I wanted something with available parts and service centers and, you know, regarding weight uh, on the lighter side. And now, of course, I wanted that decked out Viper Red Pete, okay? But it just didn't make good sense going down the road just to look good. 
these looks were not going to make me money. I needed something that was going to work to make me that money, to be my money truck. Hey, by the way, please hit the like button for me if you have found this video helpful at all, even a little nugget up to this point. I would appreciate it. Thank you. The truck I decided to get was a Cascadia 2013 or older. Now, the only thing I would change about that decision would be to make it a 2014 or older due to it having a better def system, which I needed because of living in California. Now, the decision was where and how was I going to purchase it? There are thousands of used Cascadias available, and that's just in my area. It's really overwhelming, and I would say that I probably spent about a month looking at trucks, mostly online. Let me tell you, everything becomes a blur after a period of time looking at hundreds of trucks. Take notes on where you saw trucks you are interested in because you will not be able to remember if you don't. Anyway, one day I'm watching another trucker YouTuber, Daniel McCarthy. I highly recommend his channel. His older videos when he was with Landstar and then moving on to his own authority are full of great content. So one of his videos he talks about uh, how he got his truck and even though he had a huge problem and I'm not gonna go look at his videos and you'll see he had a huge problem with that truck I checked out the company he bought it from now remember what I said earlier about a used truck being a used truck regardless of where you buy it so I found my truck on their website and the rest is history, as they say, I guess. So here is the big reveal. I purchased, or rather leased, my truck from Lone Mountain Truck Leasing. Lone Mountain mostly has used fleet trucks in stock in five different locations throughout the US. I got mine in Las Vegas, Nevada, close to me, right? Didn't have to go very far. Fun fact. Huvastal, which is now called Ten Roads Express, the postal contract trucking company, owns or has something to do with Lone Mountain. It's a shoot off of their business. Found that interesting. By the way, Lone Mountain is not sponsoring this video. Okay, they're not sponsoring it. I get absolutely nothing, uh, no compensation or any benefit at all from them for making or posting this video. They don't even know I'm doing it. Okay. Anyway, Lone Mountain's inventory is mostly used equipment, as I mentioned, but at times they do offer brand new trucks. And by the way, I'll have the website address below in the show notes for you if you'd want to go visit them. Take a look at their inventory. While you are there, you'll find links so that you can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one with me. Um, and you will find a link to become a Trucking Topics VIP or other ways you can support the channel. And we also have products that we have reviewed and used in our trucking business that you may find useful. But those one-on-ones, 15 minutes, Zoom or phone, they're absolutely free. There's no obligation. Just give me, just set up an appointment. So let me show you how the website looks. This is the home page of Lone Mountain. Now you can uh, browse the, the website later, but for now we will click on our inventory. You are then led to the main inventory page that will look like this. Of course, adjusted to their current inventory on hand that you're looking at today, not necessarily this particular inventory. Here you can quickly see that they are offering 2016 to 2017 Cascadia and ProStar model trucks. From there, depending on mileage, you will see the terms of purchasing the truck. There are no other fees added later. Now these numbers are the actual amount you will pay for that truck, period. So pick the make and year you're interested in and you will see this pop up. Now, this will show you the specs of the truck. Next, 
When you click on Live Inventory, you will see this page that lists their inventory and where the truck is located. Most stock numbers that do not have anything noted to the right are available. While scrolling, you will notice that you will see Reserved, which means a deposit has been placed on that truck. Any blue links will take you to photos of that particular truck. And you will see available soon, which means that they are not ready to put the truck into inventory. Perhaps they are in the process of purchasing them or cleaning them up and getting them ready for sale. So with Lone Mountain, whether the truck is new or used, you own the truck after the contract period with no balloon payment. Now just FYI, the one drawback is that you will have to pay sales tax on the purchase price to your home state that it is registered in once the title is signed over to you. So save up for that. So at this point, if you're interested, Next was filling out the three minute application on their website. I got a call back later, I believe it was later that day. They asked me questions about my experience and what my business plan was gonna be for the truck and they also wanted to know how much money I had in the bank to start my business. Now, the reason they ask is, is they, they really want to lease their trucks to people who have a plan for their business and will have enough money in the bank after buying the truck, making the down payment, right? To keep the business profitable. They wanna make sure you can make your truck payment. I'm not even sure that they run a credit check. If they do, your plan and available funds are considered more than your credit. Call Lone Mountain to verify if you see a truck you want or wait until they call you back. Sometimes the information is not correct. I did this and the truck I was interested in was sold but not noted as such yet on the website. However. They told me about a truck that was not listed on the site and happened to be in Las Vegas, which as I've mentioned was the location closest to me. There were also two other trucks I was interested in at that location. Next, I gave them the down payment to reserve the truck. Doing this prevented them from selling the truck before you got to the lot to take a look. Now, if you didn't like the truck, you could just leave the deposit with them to be able to look at other trucks at a later time, which was very convenient, so I didn't have to keep giving them deposits. So next is to get to the truck and take a look. I called, made an appointment, and I took some rags, some gloves, coveralls, whatever else I think I needed in order to do a good inspection on that truck or those trucks. So far, the truck was passing my tests, so I asked if I could take the truck for inspections. I had the key in five minutes and was gone for about three hours. I took the truck for a DOT inspection, a dyno, and oil sample. Now, I'm gonna go into detail on these inspections in part two of this series. Now, I was satisfied with the truck, even after I found another issue while test driving it to the inspections. I'm gonna give you a little teaser here. You're gonna have to watch part two for information on that issue. And I wonder how many of you would still decide to purchase the truck if you had the same issue. Of course, I'm gonna tease you a little bit. <laughs> Next was making an appointment to take care of the paperwork. There were so many pages to this process, I mean page after page. They do go through each and every page with you and make sure you understand precisely what you are signing. In my case, I'm pretty sure they videotaped the process, um, with my permission of course, um, just for record keeping. The important thing to note here is that you absolutely need to ask any and all questions if you do not know what you are signing, and that's any place you buy a truck. 
they are happy to take time to answer. Now, after that, I drove the truck off the lot. They already had my down payment. I am not recommending Lone Mountain to anybody in this video. I'm just telling you again what I did. Was the truck a good truck? Absolutely it was a good truck. The motor was flawless and I got great mileage out of that truck. Now, the one major issue I had was with the DEF system. But mechanically, solid truck. More on the DEF system in part two. Thank you for watching. Please ask me any questions in the comments below. I'm very good at getting back to you. Click here if you want more, where am I? Click here if you want more trucking videos and click here if you would like to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you, thank you for your time, and please be safe.